Hello, my name is June and I'm here to teach you guys how I made this GFX. So it's a really cute GFX that I did for my client. His link will be down in the description below. So while you're there, please make sure you also check out the rig and Lightroom files that I've attached. I'll also add tutorial videos for how to install them properly so then that way we can get started. So first what you're going to do is you're going to open up Roblox Studios and you're going to find a character loader. Then you're going to copy and paste the username into the character loader. You're going to spawn it as R6 and then you're going to go over and make sure the position is set to 0, 0, 0. This is really important otherwise it can mess up your character later when you import it to Blender. Then you're going to right click on the character name and go to export and they're going to make a new file. I recommend this to keep things organized. Once you make a new file, you're going to name the file the username of the character, go into the file, and name the file the same as the Roblox character. Once you've done this, you can close down Roblox Studios and open up Blender. So once you open up Blender, you're going to open up your Lightroom, and to make sure that you are positioning your character in the front of the Lightroom, you're going to check for the two big panels up front, and then you're going to go to the back, and it should just be one big panel. That one big back panel is your back. So you're going to go to File, Import, and Object. Then you're going to locate that file I had you make, and then you're going to import it. Once you do that, you're going to click the object, and then you're going to go split by group. Then, once it's in, what you're going to do is you're going to drag it up and move it over. To add the textures, click the little circle thing, and then what we're going to do is delete the limbs. Because we're going to be using a rig, we don't need the limbs. Then, if you followed the steps correctly, you should also have this little starter rig on the front. What you're going to do is you're going to find the rig and you're going to import it. I accidentally forgot which rig it was for a quick second, but once I found it, I deleted the head and then I dragged the avatar's head onto the body. And then I just positioned it to make sure it looked right. So then what I did next is I went onto Pinterest and I looked through a lot of guy GFX poses because for some reason I kind of just struggle to pose guys. I don't know why, but I just do. When I get frustrated, I just put my people in T poses and I have no clue why I do that. But what you're going to do is you're going to turn up your resolution to 2500 by 2500 and you're also going to turn up your FPS to 240. I do just want to put a quick disclaimer in here real quick. Not all computers can handle a high FPS, so slowly increase the FPS until you find something your computer cannot handle. I've done this a lot of different times and my computer can handle the very, very high FPS. Somewhere along the footage, I realized that I didn't show you how to pose the rig. So what you're gonna do is you're going to click the cog wheel at the top of the head and then you're going to go from object mode to pose mode and then you should be able to edit it like I do. So what you're gonna do next is you're gonna go into the camera, click view, navigate and walk. This way you can freely move the camera to the position that you want to move it to. And then I'm just liking this angle right here because I thought of a really cute idea. Once that happens, I normally just move out of the camera for a minute so I can try and positioning it without being in the camera. But then I just pose it for a little bit and see what I like, what I don't. Just move around. So then once I find the pose that I like, I go back into the camera view just to make sure that I like the way that everything's looking. I might tweak a little things and then I just turn the head to face the angle of the camera so it looks like the character is facing toward the camera. Once I do that, I go into shading and then right here as you can see, this is like your texture thing. So what you want to do is you want to make sure you're clicking the gray body parts. Then you're going to locate the same exact file that I told you to make in the very beginning open it up, then grab this texture, drag it in. Delete the old texture, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take A, take it up to color, take UV, and drag it up to vector. Then once you do that, you can go back to layout, and then you have your texture. So my client here did want glossy. So what I do is I click on the hair, click on the circle, change the metallic to 0.3, and change the roughness to 0.1. Then I just tweaked the head a little bit because I didn't like how the hair was sticking out a little bit. So I just dragged the camera up. I tweaked the head a little bit more, just making sure everything fits the way I want it to. 
Then I click the arm and change it to the exact same settings of 0.3 and 0.1. Then everything's all nice and shiny. Then I go to render image, but as you can see here, it looks like a tad bit orange on like the left side. So I just decided to close it out and redo my Lightroom colors. So what you're gonna do is you're going to find your Lightroom. You're gonna click that specific thing, like right there. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click the circle and then you have all your colors. First of all, you wanna change the cold to kind of like this muted, very white blue, and then the warm to a very, very light orangey. But then right here, as you can see, it turned out a lot better in color and it's gonna look a little bit fuzzy for a second and that's totally, totally expected. So just give it a second to render and especially if you have higher FPS, it will take longer to render. So just give it a second and it'll be fine. So once it's done, what you're gonna do is you're going to save the image and then I personally recommend just also naming it the avatar. Makes it a little bit easier later. I put it into a folder and then I open up Canva. So what you're gonna wanna do from here is basically just play around with stuff, try new things, try different ideas. So I think the thing that really sets me apart from a lot of GFX artists is I use actually Canva. I've been using Canva for almost four years just for some personal stuff. And honestly, I've been really liking it. So I just kind of always went with it. But for me, it's just about playing with like the shapes, the dynamic, the colors, just honestly messing around and having a little bit of fun with it. So just maybe try your own style. I'm just going to speed through this part because the rest of it is just kind of watching me figure out what I want to do with it. So thank you guys for staying until the very end and thank you guys so much for just kind of watching this and supporting me and being interested in my art. So leave a like if you enjoyed the video and you found this helpful and comment down below if you have any more questions or if you just want to reach out and maybe order something for yourself or I'm always happy to look at your own art and maybe give you some feedback. So see you next time.